Tonight on CTV News. We saw multiple victims. We have another one around the corner with that move in the face. He saw a very dangerous uh, situation unfolding in front of him, and he did all the right steps, so very proud of this young man. Terror in broad daylight at a busy North Shore Plaza. The fatal stabbing spree that sent seven people to hospital. And... We are here today because we are in a climate and ecological crisis, and our government is not taking appropriate action. Environmental protesters blocking traffic on a busy Vancouver bridge. Police move in, making multiple arrests. Plus, we really need to deploy strategies on multiple levels. Vaccine rollout, why the sudden influx of supply seems to be a surprise roadblock. This is CTV News with Mary Cranston. When he was laying on the on, on the ground, he kind of made made eye contact with me. A young witness describing the terrifying ordeal in North Vancouver this afternoon. This young boy was close to home in the Lynn Valley neighborhood when a man started attacking people with a knife at this shopping plaza. Seven people were taken to hospital with stab wounds. One person has died of their injuries today. Officers with guns drawn arrested the suspect. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. We begin with that horrifying stabbing spree in North Vancouver this afternoon. CTV's Penny Daflos has our top story tonight. This man was stabbed right outside the library. Another victim steps away at a used book sale. And just outside, a woman was attacked at a coffee shop. We saw a stabbing victim in this car right here who was getting out of her, or going into her vehicle. She had a seven-year-old son who was uh, multiple stab wounds and bleeding profusely. We helped her in the restaurant. She said there was a man with a knife on the loose that was stabbing people at random. I stood up and I saw this woman getting stabbed outside of the out of outside of the Brown Social House. They locked all the doors and they were trying to open it to get him to run away, which he did, and then they dragged her inside and her young kid, too. A victim was treated inside that restaurant and another in a vehicle parked outside the library. This woman around the corner appeared to have wounds to the head. We saw multiple victims and helped another one around the corner with stab wounds in the face. Um, there's at least five within this little circle of 100 yards, and the police caught him just down the street. Like, I came out and he was just walking, pacing back and forth on the side of the street, like, between that crosswalk down there. And he stabbed himself, and then they apparently someone said he bean they bean banged him as well, and then they just were tackled him and all over and just treated him, himself, treated him after that. Police put handcuffs and leg irons on the suspect and took him to a waiting ambulance. We believe we know the who, the what, the where, and the when. It is our job now to determine the why. The seemingly random attack in the middle of the afternoon in a quiet pedestrian shopping area in North Vancouver has simply left residents stunned. It's really scary. It's quite scary for everyone to go through this, I think. But I think the community hopefully can come back together. But in 20 years, I haven't seen this. Penny Deathloss, CTV News. And for the latest developments on this story, you can head to our website, ctvnewsvancouver.ca. Well, effective.